Okay, Jake, hey everybody, this is uh, the Spaceship Freedom. Here we are above the Earth. Um, we just got in this hour ago. Amazing ride uphill. Um, I'll let everybody describe what it felt like to each of them. We're very proud to be representing Axiom and our nations here. It's environment up to the space station where we hope to continue to contribute to all the science that's been done by all our predators. Um, it's, a, it's a real privilege to fly in space um, for anybody. It's particularly nice for me as the second time on Dragon. Um, the sensations were equally amazing. Um, acceleration, a little bit of vibration, just the sense that you're going fast. And uh, wow, what a thrill. I could be happier to be here and prouder of my guys that just did a great job all the way uphill and managed to scramble and get ready for this event. So let me pass it over to uh, Colonel Walter Villade to say hi in Italiano. Ciao a tutti e benvenuti a bordo della Freedom. It's, uh, it's a privilege uh, to be here, to fly over the Earth, uh, waiting for getting to the ISS. It's a privilege to be this year representing Italy, but also this uh, fantastic cooperation with other countries, so Turkey, Sweden, uh, the US, and Spain. So it's been a very nice ride. The vibration and the transition between the first and the second stage was uh, amazingly surprising. So uh, it's been a very nice, nice ride so far, and uh, waiting and look forward uh, for uh, having this uh, crew aboard the ISS. So I hand over to my colleagues and friends, uh, uh, Marcus Wont. Thank you, Walter. Hey, allihopa. Helt underbart att vara i rymden. What a fantastic ride. I. Uh, I have to say, I, I expected a lot, but I didn't really expect that sensation of, uh, of acceleration and speed. That was uh, fantastic, uh, pure joy. And uh, getting up here and, uh, and feeling the uh, microgravity uh, is, is, is really weird, and it's also awesome, uh, just floating around and repositioning yourself for whatever you're doing. And I'm, I'm so proud of being here and representing uh, Sweden and uh, Europe and riding on this uh, fantastic American uh, spaceship uh, with my uh, friends and crew here. So just pure joy. Fantastic. Thank you. Türkiye'nin insanlı ilk uzay misyonu için ilk Türk'ün uzaya adım attığı şu anda Yüce Atamızın sözüyle bu ana başlatmak istiyorum. Cumhuriyet Türkiye Cumhuriyetimizin kurucusu Mustafa Kemal Atatürk'ün dahiyane sözü istikbal göklerdedir. It was a great start. It was a great feeling starting from at starting from the end of the countdown all the way to here. A great ride. It has been a really great feeling as I have been dreaming for so long immediately being able to fly with our all wings without a steel wing so it's been really great up until so far i would like to commemorate um, all our lost ones in our uh, countries who has really uh, made a great contribution up until so far in our history and i'm really uh, so privilege and honored to be a part of this great team over here. Thank you so much for everybody uh, who has worked tremendously up until this moment for us to make it this moment. Thank you guys. I guess uh, it's pretty obvious, but you just heard from the first Turkish human to fly to space. Congratulations, Alper. We all let out a little bit of a whoop as we passed 100 kilometers and um, just the beginning, though. We're going to spend another day and a half or so aboard Freedom. We'll be docking to the ISS sometime around 10 a.m. GMT on Sunday, on Saturday, and we'll uh, begin our 14 days of work. Really looking forward to it. Thought maybe we'd show you the view out the window. Yeah. Never mind. It turns out. 
can't really see because it turns out we just floated into darkness on the uh, dark side of the Earth here. But anyway, to all uh, of you, SpaceX, NASA, Axiom, everybody who's been part of this mission, as I said, the Italian Air Force, uh, Tubi Tuck, Turkish Space Agency, Swedish National Space Agency, ESA, all the people who uh, on whose shoulders we ride on this um, amazing voyage to the ISS. Thank you very much. Hey, Mike, thanks for the great words. Great event. I am fielding questions from all over. Do you guys have a zero-G indicator? That's a wrap, Jake. Okay, copy. Uh, do you guys have a zero G indicator you would want to introduce to everyone? She's uh, behaving herself because she was tethered, but. Hopefully you can see Gigi. Gigi is a um, collaboration between, or represents a collaboration between Axiom Space and Build-A-Bear. And uh, she is a fifth crew member, and when we got to space, sure enough, it turns out she floats, which is proof that we are actually in microgravity, if anybody had any doubt. There you have it. Thanks for a great media event, AX3. I think we'll call it a wrap there. Well, that was absolutely amazing, Kate. So cool. I, yeah, I love that you saw not only the AX3 crew, but the fifth member of the AX3 crew, Gigi. Yeah, it's amazing to think that just only a few hours ago that they were on Earth, and now they're up into orbit. And you saw there, it was never a dull moment. MLA was saying how excited he was. He's a multiple-time flyer, and he's been up there. Uh, you could tell in the crew's face it was palpable, the energy, the excitement they were feeling, and the experience for Alper. It feels so solemn, but at the same time, you can tell they're so excited. Um, so it's absolutely amazing. So looking ahead, as MLA mentioned, uh, docking to the ISS is scheduled as early as 1.19 a.m. Pacific time or 4.19 a.m. Eastern early Saturday morning. While well, our coverage will end here for now, be sure to tune back in for our live docking coverage with NASA starting at 11.30 p.m. Pacific, 2.30 a.m. Eastern. And that will be on AxiomSpace.com, SpaceX.com, and NASA Television. In the meantime, please check out our social media accounts for updates. Thanks for joining us, as always, for this live on-orbit event. And we'll see you again for AX3's arrival at the space station. See you soon. <laughs>